Hello, this is Mark Elmo Ellis once again with PhotoshopTrainingForum.com where we show you how to clearly and concisely use Adobe Photoshop. Today we're going to look at how to use automatic color and automatic contrast commands within Photoshop so that you can optimize your pictures to look better than they originally do when you import them into Photoshop. So, uh, just to get right into this, I just want to point out the fact over here, I have created two layers. I have a background copy and background copy too, okay? And the reason why I did this was to simply show you the difference between the two examples that I'm going to show you today. In this case, the background copy is going to be what we originally started like, and the background copy too is going to show us what the image will look like after we have made our alterations. Okay, so here we go. We're going to go over and uh, we're going to stay on background copy 2 because that's the one we want to change right here on the layers. Okay, so uh, let's say for example that you just took this digital photograph and you wanted to alter the image. Now I just took this thing, just took a photograph and, and I dropped it into Adobe Photoshop with my uh, camera hooked up to the computer and so there has been basically not much done to these photographs and let's just say I just don't like the color or the bothering me or the contrast or whatever it's very easy to change it with Photoshop and the way you do that is simply you go up to where it says image in the in the menu and you click on image there's a menu here that says adjustments and that will open up again now if you want to see what Adobe Photoshop can do for your colors on here without you having to adjust it yourself all you have to do is slide on down here to where it says auto color and watch the difference it automatically adjusts the color for you so going over to our layers and if you know anything about layers from what I or you remember what I told you about layers from one of our earlier tutorials in level one if you click on this little eyeball here it will turn off the layer so this is the layer we've adjusted now we're going to go to the layer that we just originally started with so that's the layer we started with and that's auto color so you can see the difference of that now you might prefer the way it originally looked over the auto color I kinda like the auto color better it's a little bit more uh, better contrast and so forth okay let's undo that anytime you want to undo an, uh, something you've done in the past you just go up and hit undo I want to do undo auto color we'll start back where we were before okay now there's another way to change the image color wise to what you want it to be or to your own personal preference and that's very easy to do once again go to image menu click on image menu go down to where it says adjustments and we're going to go you could do any of these auto levels auto contrast whatever um, but another way of doing this is go down to where it says and you actually any of these in the menu here you can adjust shadow and highlight click on that and you'll notice there's these little sliders that open up now right away the image changed it's much lighter than it was before but you're gonna adjust that let's say you want to adjust it to your own personal preference okay you didn't like what Photoshop did with the auto color so you're gonna do it yourself this slider here is the shadows so if you watch the image as I slide it you'll notice that the shadows and the darker spots on the photograph will change see all the darker stuff starts to change mostly you will notice the lighter areas like the skin and so forth see now I'm going all the way up to an extreme here but you notice the skin and things like that the keys they stay pretty much the same color but anything that's darker gets affected by this so you can adjust that anywhere you want to same thing with highlight with highlights are the lighter areas of the photograph so here we go I want to slide that watch those change so they get darker so you can you know adjust exactly where you want that to be I, I prefer that where it is right in this particular place so here we go so you hit OK when you're finished now you, we can go back over here to our layers turn off the top layer so we can see what we did and you'll see that's a, that's a considerable difference in color and contrast so that's another way that you can uh, adjust the colors the way you want them let's go up to edit we're gonna undo what we just did but now it says undo shadow and highlight so click that that will turn that off okay another way to adjust your image is to very simply uh, change the contrast as well and that was up in that same category so we're going to click on image in this menu adjustments we are now going to slide down to where it says brightness contrast and once again top slider says brightness and if we slide it 
We'll notice things get very bright in the brighter areas, darker depending on what we want to do. In contrast, also, same thing, very similar to what we were looking at earlier. Okay, so once we've done that somewhat, hit OK. We could go back and once again by clicking on the top layer, we can see our original image versus the new image, so forth. Okay, now I'm not saying this is the way it should look, I'm just saying this is the difference between the two and you can see what you can do with that. So that's really important to know about Photoshop. Okay, let us do one last thing here. Uh, we're going to look at how to get rid of what they call color cast. Color cast is like, you know, if you take a picture, especially with Polaroid films, you know how you get like this milky, reddish, sometimes yellowish, pinkish kind of color to your pictures. You really don't like that, but you took a picture that you liked and you wanted to keep it. Well, you no longer have to throw those pictures out or say the heck with it because now we have Photoshop and we're in the new technological age, right? So here we go. Same thing as before. You're going to click. I deliberately made this a pink color to this. I kind of washed it in a milky pink and then I merged my layers together. And So we've got this pink color to the image. and We want to get rid of that. Well, go up to image once again and you're going to open up the adjustments panel and then this time you're going to go to color balance right here in the menu. All right, now, as you'll notice, you've got cyan, magenta, and yellow. These are the three colors you can adjust. And you can start messing around with those to try to eliminate the pinkish color as much as you can. So we're going to add some green here and some blue. And it still looks kind of milky. It doesn't look exactly the way you want it to, right? But you're in the mid-tones here. Now you've got the radio button here and it's selected the midtone okay but we're, we're going to oh, make sure please make sure that you have luminosity preserve luminosity checked okay so you got the midtones here now we're going to shift over to shadows now you're going to see quite a contrast here when we start messing around with these you'll notice right away that things start looking pretty much normal and you could get it very close to the way we originally had it in the first picture Still a little pinkish in the background there. So by adjusting these slides, you can pretty much get very close to where you were at with your original image. Here we're going to adjust the highlights now. See, look at that. Look how much difference that is. And you can just keep on adjusting it to whichever way you want to. That's a major difference from where we started from with the pink, a pinkish color. So just to give you an idea of how that works. So those are three tools that you can use to change your contrast and your colors and so forth in Adobe Photoshop. This has been Mark Elmo Ellis with PhotoshopTrainingForum.com where we show you clearly and concisely how to use Adobe Photoshop. God bless and have a great day.